Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video patch 5.5 has hit and therefore we're going to be opening the new Singularity Cartel packs. And from my pack preview video if you watched it I said I was really excited for this one because it seems to have some really nice items. And so we're going to get into that but firstly look at this we have a really nice uh, update to the Cartel Market user interface. And we also have seen a plethora of both new and old items return to the Cartel Market. We don't know exactly for how long but to highlight some amazing items that Cathar Honor Sword is for 500 cartel coins. Uh, as you can see, we have the new season professionals armor set looking pretty nice. Um, so we're going to be uh, probably doing a separate video on that later because there's some exciting stuff I want to show off. But this one is solely going to be about the singularity cartel packs. And um, we're going to be opening two hyper crates in this video because I'm just excited about it and I want to make sure I can show off as many items as I can. Uh, jumping into the collections tab here quickly before we get into the pack opening itself there were some lingering questions from the uh, pack preview video that I just want to quickly answer just before I open the pack uh, just to satisfy my own curiosity you know so let's quickly look here and um, now here I guess the mischief and anarchy platinum blasters are in this cartel pack and we don't see the new uh, knot, uh, knot or whatever uh, cannon and sniper rifle those are supposed to be the new platinum items so I guess they're not releasing those yet uh, the bionic warrior armor set is going to be gold the proficient hitman's armor set is silver and keep in mind this has a really nice helmet as you guys can see here so um it's pretty decent for a silver armor set and then the agile sentinel i'm guessing is going to be gold or no this one is silver as well okay and check out that upper body armor looking very nice and fancy and actually um quite similar to the sith recluse armor set i'm wearing right now i mean it's obviously got some fancy uh, and uh, you know they have their um, differences but it's kind of going off the same design and this one i would say is even a little bit fancier with its nice little animations and stuff but uh, aside from that kind of the boots and everything are okay but i'm really not digging the helmet for this one but anyways for a silver armor set that's actually rather decent and um yeah i'm going to be excited to see what visual effect comes out of this one because looking from the image it seems to emit some sort of red hud from the back the hollow ranker mount this one is Platinum, damn, those bastards did it, huh? They, uh, they made this thing platinum, so it's going to be extremely rare. And considering we have two other platinum items from this pack, uh, it's going to make it even more rare because if you get a platinum item, it might not necessarily be the hollow ranker, you know? The Embarrant Spider Tank was gold, as you saw there, and then the Resolute Gorilla's Blaster uh, seems to have some, uh, seems to be a little bit fancier than just the image. It has both a red laser sight and a rotating barrel, so some fancier stuff there. Uh, the sniper rifle, I guess, is just kind of a big, bulkier version. Um, so once again, they're decent weapons. And then the Resolute Gorilla's lightsaber. I really like the design of this one. Uh, check that out. It's going off of a very kind of prequel design. Not so much Old Republic, but more some of the stuff you might see like Obi-Wan Kenobi. I think it's very similar to the design of uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, which is really awesome. Uh, I could definitely see uh, more of those being valuable to the game and to new players and stuff because this whole silver so it's going to go pretty cheap. But anyways, enough of that rambling on. Let's go ahead and do the actual pack opening. Now guys, this is shipment 10, which means um, we're getting a new shipment, but also they said they increased the chance of getting platinum items. So I'm kind of really banking on that and hoping that I'm going to pull out the hollow ranker so I can show it to you guys because I'm really excited to see what that looks like. But right off the bat here, we have our first gold item only two packs in. We have the operator requisition. I don't fancy that that will be kind of extremely rare or expensive on the GTN, but definitely a nice pull nonetheless. Uh, the uh, companions always go for quite a lot. But aside from that, I really still don't like their new cartel pack opening. Oh, hey, look at that. Maybe they improved the RNG, but uh, we have another gold item, the Bionic Warriors Lower. Okay, so that's going to be, uh, you know, that's a decent pull. It's gold, but um, I'm really hoping for the upper body armor just so I can show off that, um, that effect. Oh, here we have a nice, another nice pull, the Black Nebula's Heavy Blaster. This one's actually available now on the cartel market for like 450 cartel coins, but it's a really old blaster that uh, is still very, very nice and it sells for quite a lot, so I'm kind of happy I pulled that out. I still need to use one for my own collection. But as I was saying, I'm not a big fan of their kind of new, uh, or the, the change they made to the cartel packs where you only get one new item and then everything else are basically just grand chance cubes. Uh, but they're already open for you, so you don't have the option to sell them. Which sucks because as you guys can see here, I'm just getting a ton of crap over and over again and then just one new item. And for example, in this pack, my new item is the color crystal, which is nice, but kind of like not really because um, color crystal is not really going to be worth anything. But nonetheless, we're getting some nice items here like the strategic assault speeder, 
that's you know a decent pull we're getting another gold so that's three already and this is the bionic warrior supplementary the helmet is very very nice i'm really digging the helmet for this one i use it with like a black dye and it's going to look amazing so um, i'm happy i pulled that out of course we've got some of the new decorations but look at all this crap guys like come on the Rendili Chameleon, like, come on, that's just, why are you even putting that in these packs, honestly? You charge 58 bucks for a Hyper Crate, and I'm not complaining because I didn't pay for this, but um, just as I was saying they were crap, we actually got a pretty nice pull here. Look at this, the Relaxed Jumpsuit and the Casual Vandal. Uh, both, you know, they're only bronze and silver rarity, but they are very, very uh, rare and expensive on the GTN just because they're really old and they show off your torso and stuff, which is often very popular. So uh, those, that was a pretty nice pull, but that's like, you know, one in a million. The rest of the stuff you're going to get is crap. I really hope they revert back to the older cartel packs where you're just um, getting two new items from the pack. I mean, it's better than getting the three because these three items are usually just crap. But at the end of the day, I'm just hoping for that platinum drop. I really want to see what the <laughs> holo ranker looks like. Yeah, and see, not, you know, not getting anything too special from these. But another gold, so that's, I think, four in total. Uh, we got another operator acquisition, so that can definitely be used and sold for the credits. But, um, yeah, so four gold items already. How many packs do we have left? Six packs left, so we might even get another one. Ah, there's a Coolin Exiles Blaster, one of the nicer blasters in the game. And still holding out for an Agile Sentinel's upper body armor. I really want to show that off as well. More crap, crap, crap. You know, each of these uh, cartel packs costs 250 cartel coins, which is, if you translate that to real dollars, uh, two bucks and 50 cents. So keep in mind, like if, you know, I get free cartel coins from referral links, but if someone actually paid money, like each one of these packs are, you know, they're trying to, you know, is it worth two bucks and 50 cents basically? I bet a lot of people are losing money, but I just um, uh, mulled over the fact that I did end up getting the Agile Sentinels upper body armor, so I'll be able to show that off. But I, you know, it's a silver rarity, so I suspected I would get it after opening two hyper crates. Maybe we'll get a platinum. How many packs do we have left here? Uh, oh, that's it. Okay, nope. So um, maybe we'll be we'll get luckier with the second uh, hyper crate. We'll get right into opening the second one just so we can, uh, you know, go through it. So we got four gold items. Uh, that's kind of decent. I think three is the average, so four is pretty good. So a lot of people have been commenting on my videos saying they get way more, like they get five, six, seven gold items. But I, I honestly just think they're lucky because, you know, I've been opening packs for the longest time and my average is always three to four gold items per hyper crate. That's like my average. So I think that's the average of what most people are getting as well. Okay, so we got the Voss Tomb Terminal, which is a gold decoration. Gold decorations don't do so well nowadays. You can often get them for very good deals on the gtn especially if you just wait like one or two weeks after the pack has been released um you'll often find a very good deal for gold decorations especially for those people that are hunting for that prestige look at this already two uh, gold items and yes we got the bionic warriors upper body armor i'm really excited to show that off and really excited to see um the fancy effects seems to be like some sort of sparkles that shoot out of your shoulder pads or something so that's going to be exciting now we just got to get through the rest of this crap. I mean, look at this. We got the hollow projector disguise, a blaster, and a crystal. Is that worth two bucks and fifty cents? I mean, you got to ask yourself. Bioware really needs to either price their packs better or, you know, make uh, packs feel like they have more bang for their buck, honestly. There's a lot of crap still. I still would not suggest opening cartel packs if anyone is wondering. Uh, I would still definitely suggest don't do it. You can just find a lot of good deals on the GTN. All right, so three gold items already, the dreaded obelisk. So it seems like this pack wanted to give me uh, the gold decorations, but come on, still holding out for that platinum. But that's another thing, you know, if I do end up getting a platinum item, it might not necessarily be the hollow ranker. It could be the mischief or the anarchy blasters. And um, so that kind of makes the hollow ranker actually more rare because... It's not like the single platinum item from the pack. It's uh, one of three. So less people are going to have it, which is only going to, you know, boost that price up on the GT. And I don't reckon it will go below 50 mil for quite a while. 
But uh, then again, if you look at the Mischief and Anarchy Blasters, those sold for like 150 to 200 million uh, about a month after the pack was released. But now they're on the GTN for like 20 to 30 million. So prices really dropped on those. Oh boy, we have a problem here. As I'm shooting through, these uh, through this pack opening, it seems as though we've maxed out our cartel stash. So I'm just going to quickly take some stuff out here. Um, you know, it's, it's going to take like a second, so I won't edit the video or anything. We'll just quickly grab some of this stuff out because we'll be showing it off anyway. I'll show off the decorations. I'll show off the Bionic Warrior armor set. Um, so yeah, the Hollow Ranker is going to be a very rare mount, um, which kind of sucks. I was really hoping they'd make it gold because I know a lot of people are excited for it. Uh, some people also expressed in that video where I talked about it that uh, they didn't like the design, which is fine, of course. Uh, and it's not going to appeal to everyone, but I definitely thought it was really good looking. And I know a lot of people thought that as well. And, um, and now it sucks because not a lot of people are going to have access to it. Um... You know, they might have actually originally intended for it to be gold, but then uh, they saw how popular it was. Like a lot of people were saying, oh, this is an amazing item. And then they thought, hey, let's make it platinum and uh, we'll get more people to buy this pack. All right, let's hope that we can make it to the rest of the pack opening without maxing out my stash again. Grand Chance Cubes are about to get a little bit less valuable now because apparently they drop out of command crates. So they do have like a decent, tra uh, decent chance of dropping out of command crates. And so um, uh, market's going to get flooded, I think, uh, pretty soon because a lot of people farm CXP. And so a lot more people are going to have Grand Chance Cubes. Another gold. So they definitely, I don't know, seem to have done something. I'm getting a lot more gold items now. Oh, damn. We maxed it out again. Oh, we actually exceeded the capacity. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's just try to take some stuff out, like, really quickly. But well, the pack opening is almost over anyway. You guys get the gist of what this is like. It's it's kind of like a normal pack opening. Um, you get a, you get seem to be getting a decent amount of gold items. But to be honest, uh, I really am disappointed they made that Hollow Ranker Platinum. For me, if I was just kind of the average player who was actually spending money on cartel coins and stuff like that, I would kind of be a lot less incentivized to open this pack just by virtue of the fact that the Hollow Ranker doesn't have a good chance of dropping out. And the reason is a lot of the other stuff that's nice out of this pack are, is like silver. Like the silver weapons are going to drop to a really decent price on the GTN. Uh, the Resolute uh, or what the Agile Sentinel armor set, that's a very nice one. That's, gonna, that's silver, so that's going to drop. Uh, the Bionic Warrior, I'm not sure if that's going to be one of those gold armor sets that goes for a lot or kind of drops as well. Because we've seen gold armor sets drop pretty low in the past. Uh, the Keeper of Iocath is a perfect example. Like that was a gold armor set from the latest cartel pack. It was pretty nice. It had a nice visual effect. I saw deals on the GTN. You could pick it up for like under a million. Uh, if you could pick up like the helmet and the um, upper body armor both for under a million. So that was pretty insane. I definitely uh, picked up some of those deals just to store in my inventory. And another gold item. Okay. Got lucky here with a lot of these gold items. Um... Yeah, the Lurgo's a, a nice looking mount, but uh, still crap, I mean. Much rather, I'd much rather just get new items from the pack. Uh, that would even make it so that people have to buy less packs, which I know isn't profitable for Bioware, but honestly, like, it would be uh, more ethical for them to do something like that. Okay, we have like one more cartel pack, come on. Yeah, I guess rich people problems having too much, uh, too many cartel market items but uh, to be honest a lot of it's crap like look here it's just a ton of these uh, mounts that won't sell on the gtn because they're complete crap okay here we go last pack platinum oh platinum come on hollow ranker what okay so i'm guessing uh that's actually like the extra drop that's not a drop from the pack that's um i believe that's that pvp item available from uh the cartel bazaar vendor uh, you can get it for Cartel Market Certificates. I do think it's from that series, but um, to be honest, uh, it's not very nice. So it's not really like platinum worthy. What Bioware did was they, they made a lot of um, those old items that don't drop out of Cartel Packs. This one doesn't drop out of a Cartel Pack, but um, they made it platinum just for the sake of being platinum. Like for example, the, it's the same as a Stronghold Defender uh, weapon series. Those are all platinum as well. So it's not really a platinum item. Uh, that sucks. Come on. Uh, it's not even about selling it for credits or anything. It's just I really wanted to show off the Hollow Ranker. Now all I can do is show it off in the preview, which it doesn't look the same, honestly. I think it's going to look very different, actually. But um, here we go. This is what it looks like in the preview. 
And it honestly does, I don't think it does the actual mount justice because in the preview, it looks like the actual hollow part is very faded. Uh, you can't even see it. It looks really weird. But uh, I think when you actually put it up in game, it's going to look a lot more um, strong. But okay, so let's go ahead and check out some of these armor sets. Really, really excited. This is the thing I've been most excited for, seeing uh, some of these visual effects. So let's do this. We'll go ahead and quickly um, put those on and let's go ahead and see. So I'm going to activate my weapon and there should be like some sort of thing that emits from the back. So let's do this. Oh, well that's completely disappointing. Um, there doesn't seem to be a visual effect. Normally what happens with these armor sets is when you activate your weapon, there will be some sort of visual effect. Uh, I mean, and the only reason I'm even assuming that is in the image, it totally looked like that. Let's quickly go ahead and check here. Like, check that out. It seems as though there's some sort of visual effect. They even show the, the light flashing out from the back. So that's kind of weird. But uh, okay, so that confirms it, guys. There is no visual effect for that Resolute uh, Guardian. Some people are going to be happy because I know some people just want to enjoy the design. They don't really care about having fancy uh, lights come out of it and stuff. But uh, I'm honestly a sucker for that kind of stuff. I really like it. Uh, the, if you're wondering how I'm making my eyes glow, that's actually a visual effect associated with the Dynamic Brawler's headgear. So that's just what, something I have equipped. It's actually really cheap on the GTN if you're interested in that. I really enjoy that design and I use it all the time. So... You might be interested in getting that for yourselves as well. Okay, here is the Bionic Warrior. I'm uh, not a fan of the color scheme, but once again, there's nothing a nice little die can't fix. Um, I also unlocked this in my collection, so I'll quickly delete all these items to clear up some inventory space, and then we'll go ahead and check out the, um, the armor set. And look here at the helmet, guys. It looks very nice, very menacing. Um, definitely digging that helmet. All right, so here we go. Let's activate our weapon and... Uh, Okay, words cannot express how disappointed I am. What the hell? So there's no visual effect of this one either. You guys might be wondering why I'm crazy about this, but honestly, like, look at the image. Am I, am I uh, interpreting something wrong? It literally has sparks coming out from the armor set. I mean, isn't that just like false advertising? Some poor sod's probably gonna go and, and say, oh cool, this armor set looks amazing. I'm gonna go buy it and spend my hard-earned credits or cartel coins or whatever, and then uh, be completely disappointed because it's just, uh, I don't know, man, that, that, that image is very misleading to be honest. So, um, so that is actually very, very disappointing. Uh, okay. We'll just quickly run through these, uh, decorations here just for the sake of ending this video. But, um, yeah, well, I'm not gonna really show off these decorations. They look okay. I mean, nothing too special, honestly. So, all right, so I guess actually, guys, actually, I'm going to change my opinion on this cartel pack a little bit. I was a lot more excited uh, to open this, but uh, after realizing some stuff, um, ugh, I'm kind of having mixed opinions now about this. Like, for example, the hollow rancor is platinum. That's the first bad part about the pack. Uh, the second bad part about the pack is there's mischief and anarchy, which are already uh, platinum items that have fallen very low on the GTN and therefore no longer really kind of a good pull to open a cartel pack. And then thirdly, the armor sets. Uh, they look okay, but obviously they don't have the visual effects, which is a big disappointment for me. And then finally, um, a lot of the good items from the pack can probably be picked off for very decent prices on the GTN. So, you know what? In hindsight, it's a decent pack. It's not a great pack. I said in previous videos this was a great pack, but uh, after opening, actually, GG Bioware, good job. You totally changed my opinion. I thought you actually had done a good job on a pack, but somehow... You guys found a way to screw it up. I'm disappointed. I was really hoping uh, the, the armor sets were going to be a little bit better than that. Okay, whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Still, there's no reason to complain. I got super lucky with the cartel packs. Pulled out some awesome gold items. Uh, even got lucky with that platinum one there. And I do hope for anyone that opens this cartel pack for themselves that they have great luck. But once again, I do not suggest that these items are going to drop pretty low on the GTN. You'll, you'll have a field day picking some of that stuff up. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next one.